Hi everyone, full case of 2017 Panini Contenders Football. Pick your team number three from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Full, filled up. Filled up by these folks here. Big thanks to these folks. Breaking with me on the last night of the year, last night of the month. So big thanks. Well, big thanks to everybody, not just to everybody on this list, but big thanks to everybody all year long. Whether you buy one spot or 10,000 spots, I appreciate everybody's business. Um, all year for supporting us. Thank you very much. So I appreciate that. All right. There's the contenders. Good luck, everybody. Um, I will do a quick recap at the end of the video. So just if you're watching the replay of the video, you can always fast forward all the way to the end until you see me start doing the recap. There'll be a number of randomizers too. It'll be after those. There's all 12 boxes right over there. Thank you very much, everyone, and good luck. We did one case on new release night. Mm, there was some grumbling. There was some grumbling. But break two, pick your team two that we did, uh, was much more to everyone's liking. And so I think everyone's back to being happy with contenders again. Contenders is always pretty solid every year. So we sold out break three, which is what we're doing right now, and we sold out break four. We're already halfway there on break five. Well, that'll break next Tuesday. We, I don't, we've run out of time for that tonight. But uh, but no, it's uh, looks like Contenders is heating up. Yeah, you can't can't judge a case, a product by one case. I, I'd be willing to bet that this case will be somewhere in between the first one and the, and the second one. That's usually where most of these cases will land, in my opinion. We've got plenty more, we'll be breaking plenty more, so we'll have a lot of opportunities to get a really good idea of what the set is looking like overall. And then you'll then you'll be able to kind of gauge, get a better idea of um, some, some trends. And I think that's what's important about doing a lot of cases, because then you can use that to your advantage. It's like, oh, okay, uh, Jaspies has X team priced at, uh, priced at this price, you know, so hey, maybe, you know, but and they seem to hit a lot. So maybe Jaspies has underpriced them a little bit. You know, so then you can kind of get value out of that and get that team every time on contenders. So you, there's always different ways to strategize once you do a little stra uh, studying of these cases. <laughs> Urban says, "Keep save the Camaras for Piggy Team 4. Well, hopefully I can get Camaras for Michael Tran and for you as well. I want Camaras in all the cases. All right, so good luck, everyone. Now, we by the time I finish, so we're doing, obviously, we're doing Pick Your Team 3 right now. The next break, we'll do another full case of contenders after this. Pick Your Team 4 will come up right after this. Then we're going to do a quick Leaf Metal Draft break. That doesn't take very long. And then we'll be pretty much a little under, we'll probably have about another 50, 45 minutes left in the broadcast by the time all said and done. So we still have time to squeeze in. We don't have time for these hour-long breaks, I'm afraid, or oh, these are over now, but we don't have time for that. But we do have time for a lot of shorter breaks. So if you want to squeeze some shorter breaks in, we can do it. Um, I've added here, let me drop this in the chat before I start this first box. First of all, here is the, um, first of all, there's the schedule. Second of all, here is one deal right here um, for NT football. I added some break credit to it. Uh, plus, there are five Cyber Monday packs in play there. If you go check out uh, Chronicles Baseball, um, go check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We took a we took some ten ten percent off that too, so check it out. All right, good luck, folks. Here we go. Uh, the Colts in this break is is you, Chris. That is you. Oh, Redemption. Any guesses? So we'll kind of breeze through these cards really quickly. Like Once again, Vet Base doesn't ship, but Josh Reynolds, Cracked Ice will ship. Nice. 20 out of 25. Great start. Derek Slavic with the Rams. Nice way to start the break. Remember, the vet base doesn't ship. The inserts will ship like these. 
will be left right randomizers because they're not numbered, not serial numbered. I'll set that aside to remind me. So just in the interest of time, we'll go a little bit more quickly than usual. If you see me like miss a numbered card, don't worry. When uh, when our shipping team is sorting this break out, they'll they'll catch any of the uh, serial numbered cards and they'll make sure that they'll get top loaded and sent to you. We've got playoff ticket auto Jamal Agnew, seventeen out of ninety nine. We're seeing some new faces here, which is great. Adam Kupperman with the Lions. We've got Brandon Williams, rookie ticket autograph for the Purple Birds. That'll be for Jaden. There you go, Jaden. A little autograph for you. <laughs> um, Rory is guessing Kareem Hunt on that redemption. Our last break, one of the redemptions did deliver a Kareem Hunt. There's Corey Coleman at a 249. That's for the Browns. That'll be for Cruz. Urban legend who has the Colts, he's hoping for a Malik Hooker ice. An ice would be nice. Um, Royal for Speed wants another Wayne Gallman. He's he's two for two. Two cases, two Wayne Gallman redemptions for him. He's he's like might, may as well just build up that PC. Josh Woodrum. Old Josh Woodrum. That goes to Jaden and another Raven. There he is. And the Dolphins, Charles Harris. Last spot mojo, Derek P. I don't think we've seen Charles Harris yet either. All right, redemption time. It's going to be, there you go, Ryan. Rookie ticket RPS, Wayne Gallman. That goes to Royal Force Speed. He's looking for Engram. He's ending up with Gallman's. <laughs> Three for three on Wayne Gall. Three cases, three Gallmans for Royal for Speed. There you go, man. Starting your Wayne Gallman PC. He better turn out to be like Barry Sanders. All right, next box. It's better, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. A lot of people get skunked in these breaks. They'll take they they take a Wayne Gallman redemption at this point. I think he didn't he he had some okay games, right? Didn't he? An, an okay game or two? Maybe no. Gave him some some. Resemblance of a running game, just to keep defenses honest, perhaps. Maybe they, maybe they didn't. There will be points cards in here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so remember, points. Everyone's eligible to get the points, and if there's multiple points, they'll be collected as one lot. Winner take all on the points. Winner takes all points. Oh, will we go will we go three for three on Kirk Cousins autographs? Our first two cases at Kirk Cousins autographs. Will case three have a you like that auto? Perhaps, maybe.
Jaden thinks that uh, Gallman could have a little future with the Giants. I think so. I feel like he was he was decent. All right. Here's the next box. Good luck, everyone. And Razul Douglas. Reminds me of Raz Al Ghul. That is for the Fly Eagles Fly Rudko with that one. Eddie Jackson. I don't think I've seen an Eddie Jackson yet. Nice Eddie Jackson for the Bears. That'll be for Rogelio. Nice one, Roy. I'll make sure I'm not missing any of the serial numbered ones of those. Oh, see, points. We'll randomize those to one person. Winner take all points. Jordan Willis. Rookie ticket autograph for the Bengals. They'll go to Cruz. Nice championship ticket. 24 out of 99. Devontae Adams. Nice Devontae Adams for the Packers. That'll be for Colin Matoy. And we've got, is this a D.D. Westbrook autograph? It is. On card autograph, D.D. Westbrook. Shogun, there you go, Ryan. Ryan with the Jags. I feel like he's starting to come into his own, I think. It should be interesting to see him in the playoffs. Hopefully. And another TJ Watt. Rookie ticket autograph, TJ Watt, JJ's brother, going out to Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. He got a cracked ice, TJ Watt, from the first case. And I think a redemption in the second case? Are you three for three on TJ Watts? Nice, you're welcome, Ryan. Good to see you, man. All right, you're welcome, Seal Curtain. There's Gallucci. Yeah, he, Seal Curtain is three for three on TJ Watt. Nice. TJ saying, hey, that DD Westbrook's a good one to hold on to. It was a Heisman finalist in 2016. Definitely a keeper. Yeah, well, Blake Bortles looking like. Like he wants to be a decent quarterback. His, his numbers are actually pretty dust off your Blake Bortles rookie autos. Because it looks like he's uh, kind of figuring out how to be a quarterback and not just throwing throwing the football around, you know? It's like the old, uh, it's like what they say with pitchers, right? There's, um, you're, you're a thrower. A lot of throwers need to learn how to become pitchers. There's a difference. A lot of quarterbacks. You can't just be throwers. They have to learn how to be quarterbacks. And I think Blake Bortles might be learning how to be a quarterback. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how he does uh, once they're officially in the playoffs. <laughs> Rob's already getting nervous. Is there even base Falcons in this? I'm sure there is. I mean, most of the base isn't going to shit. But if whenever you see a Falcons insert, yeah, that'll that'll go to you.
All right, here we go, folks. Next box. There we go. There's Odell Beckham Jr., 67 out of 99. MVP contenders, if he possibly, if he didn't get injured. And George Kittle, rookie ticket autograph. That'll go to the Niners, James S. Matthew Days is your rookie ticket auto for the Browns. That'll be for Cruz. So this will go to you. There you go, Rob. Fear not, my friend. You're getting some stuff. We just got to find you an auto now. There's one for the Bengals. Rookie ticket auto, Josh Malone. That's a decent autograph. It just needs to be larger. Josh Malone, feel free to use the entire canvas. Feel free to use the entire canvas, my friend. Bengal, if you're watching. Cruz with the Bengals. So you might get this on a left-right randomizer. There you go. You'll get this MVP contenders insert. And the Lions will get this playoff ticket, 176 out of 249, Amir Abdullah. Fear Amir. That'll be for the Lions, Adam Kupperman. And John Ross the third, the speedy John Ross. Rookie ticket on card auto. That is for Cruz and the Bengals. Corey Clement. Nice Corey Clement. Had some bright spots this season. Corey Clement. For the Fly Eagles Fly, Rudko with this one. Well, listen, Rob, let's put it, let's put it this way. Well, yeah, and first of all, Cruz is right. Or I'm sorry, TJ is correct. A lot of people are just one and done. I appreciate I do appreciate you giving it a shot time and time again. Now, we didn't see, we saw one Falcons auto in the first case, I believe. I think it was a Brian Hill. I don't think we saw anything in the second case. So my guess, my hope, is that odds are pretty good is that we'll find some, uh, some Falcons in this case right here. And who knows, you might be surprised with like a, a low number, like autograph. Yeah, yeah, like Sam... Like, listen, yeah, Sam was an optic. I think he was in, like, he had to be in, like, three breaks, three or four breaks, you know, before he finally got a hit, which was in the last box, and it was, like, an out-of-five autograph. Right. All I've get, yeah, Ryan's been buying the New York Football Giants for the last few cases. All he's ended up with is, is a few Wayne Gallmans. And that one uh, defensive back. We actually might be pretty decent though. See, yeah, like a plate. A plate would be. I feel like we've seen a plate per case, right? I mean, we've only done two cases, but that could that could be a nice trend. I'd be happy with that trend.
Oh, was it? That hill I think we pulled in the first cave was cracked ice. I didn't remember that. Well, another cracked ice would be nice. Uh, I don't remember how much how much were the falcons. I don't remember how much they cost. I think the trouble with the falcons is that they may not have a lot of autographs. So so like quantity wise, which is why the price is probably on the lower side. The quantity wise, they may not have a lot of stuff. And the stuff they do have, like vet autos, would be just harder to hit in general. Well, there's this guy. How about this, Matt Ryan, eighty three out of two forty nine. I feel like we're we're getting there. We're warming up. We're warming up. All right, so it was like in the in the twenties, twenty-ish dollars. There's Carlos Henderson, the easiest auto in the hobby. Carlos Henderson, Broncos, Adam Kupperman, because he never have to never has to lift the pen. Right? Dalvin Cook at least has to lift the pen once, D and then C, right? This, Carlos Henderson, he, know, he knows what's up. All right, moving on. And we've got Alex Anzalone, or Anzalone, depending on how his last name goes. One of the fastest linebackers in the draft. That goes to the Saints, and that'll be for Michael Tran. The Saints defense definitely stepping up big time this season. I think a lot of people thought, no, same old Saints early in the season, you know, but the, all their young guys and all their free agents have really have really picked up picked things up, really put things together. Now they've got a great defense. Any guesses on the redemption? And we've got Chad Kelly. Denver Broncos. William Hummel looking for Keelan Cole. No, we have not seen Keelan Cole's yet. We've seen a few D.D. Westbrooks, though. Is that number? Oh, I thought that was numbered for a second. And then we've got Hassan Reddick is your autograph. Rookie ticket auto. Jaden with the Cardinals. There you go, Jaden. Ryan, are you sure you don't want another Wayne Gallman? You need like a one of one Wayne Gallman so you can start your rainbow. Your Wayne Gallman rainbow. Nice Deshaun Hall. Five out of 99. Playoff ticket autograph. Playoffs? Playoffs? Panthers, that goes to Rogelio Roy with that. Colin wants Jamal Williams for his Packers. So we got good luck, everybody. We have Ask and Ye Shall Receive. Rookie Ticket Variation RPS, Jamal Williams. Green Bay Packers for Colin. Thanks for asking nicely, Colin. The please, that's what, that's what did it. Thanks, man. And I appreciate your support all year long too, Colin. There you go. Next box. TJ looking for Redskins. Oh, Samaj Piran. We saw him in the last break. We know he exists in this product. I'm sure we'll see him again.
All right. Next one. Good luck. Just want to look at some of the, the, the standings really quick going into the last week of the season. What were your... So, everybody... Let me ask you this question while I open up these packs. What team? Uh, what team surprised? You're welcome, Colin. What team surprised you um, this season in terms of they, uh, in terms of them underperforming or overperforming? What teams have surprised you in terms of whether they underperformed or whether they overperformed? William Hummel, yes. Contenders do have vet autos, but they're very few and far between. Maybe. One to three per case. Jaden saying the Jets over his expectations. I agree. I mean, five and ten. I mean, a lot of people thought they were going to go 0 and 16. You know what I mean? But Todd Bowles has that team playing really hard, even though they're not winning a lot of games. They're five and ten, but they're playing hard. I like that coach. You know what's great about the Jets? Um, they are. I think they have a winning record. Against the spread, so if you're if you're a gambler, you'd be happy with the uh, you'd be happy with the Jets because they are uh, are winning against the spread. Steel Curtain saying Rams. I didn't think that I thought they were going to be good with the new coaching staff. I didn't think they were going to be this good. Yeah, Rob Castillo saying Jets and Saints. Jags impressing the Ryan uh, Ryan way over his expectations. I agree with the Jaguars. I didn't think it without. Especially their defense. I didn't think it would come together that quickly. Um, right, Adam Kupperman, Jets fan. Yeah, they kept most of the games close. Is Miles Garrett signing cards in any of Panini cards? Is, is Miles Garrett exclusive to somebody else, maybe? Or is he signing? I, I, I don't remember. William Hummel saying Rams and Jags. Yeah, Paul T also saying Rams. Yeah, Colts, one, once Andrew Luck, once people knew Andrew Luck wasn't coming back, I mean, they, they really kind of unraveled there. Our Mike saying Jags, Raiders underperforming. I did not expect the Raiders to be this bad this season. Um, really, Raiders are going hard after John Gruden? I think that would be the only, I think that would be the only coach. I mean, because I like Jack Del Rio, just bad coordinators, you know, but I like Jack Del Rio. But if there's if there was going to be a head coaching change, it can't be like it, it it just can't be some new guy, some some you know some some guy that uh you know is just like his, his first it can't be his head, first head coaching job. There's uh, Tano Sagignon that goes to the Chiefs. That'll be for Jameson. But yeah, it just can't be that. But I mean, no no more Dennis Allen experiments, you know. <laughs> There's the plate, and the plate is for the Browns, Caleb Brantley, and it's an autograph too. Cleveland Browns cruise with that one. There you go, Cruz. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Definitely thank you to two, you too for all your support over the years. Another good year at Jaspies in the books. An ownership stake for John Gruden, huh? Well, hey, if they could lure John Gruden out of the booth, he's he's getting very well paid in the booth just to talk about football and not have the stress of being a head coach. Peter looking for some bills. Yeah, we've not seen bills yet. Right. Playoff ticket. Return of the Mac. 36 out of 49. It's Marlin Mac. Return of the Mac. For Chris. That's Urban. With a nice playoff ticket. Marlin Mac. Right on the card as well. Very nice.
Jabril Peppers out of 25 Rookie of the Year contenders. Nice Jabril Peppers for Cruz and the Browns. And Robert Woods, championship ticket, 30 out of 99 for the Rams. Derek Slavic with that one. There's Amari Cooper. I, I thought they'd catch the ball more often, too. And Ryan Switzer, the speedy Ryan Switzer. Rookie ticket autograph for James S. and the boys. Nice. Next box. All right, that Mac was indeed on card. All right. Um, let's go through. Let's go through the. The teams really quick in the AFC. Patriots went twelve and three. I think I think that's pretty much what everyone expected. Buffalo Bills eight and seven right now before the last week of the season. I think that's what everyone expected too. Dolphins might have been a little under, right? Six and nine. I think people thought maybe with Tannehill, maybe people thought they win a couple more games. Um, Jets, as we discussed, they they overachieved. They did very nicely this season. I think they're on a good track. Maybe maybe with a maybe if they get a Kirk Cousins, a quarterback or something. In the AFC North, Steelers, I think I think the Steelers started off the season a little weird, a little fractured, I think. And even with the James Harrison deal, I think that's a little awkward too. But hey, they're still 12-3. and three. They've had a very nice season. All right, let's see how they do in the playoffs without Antonio Brown. Uh, Ravens, I think, have overachieved a little bit. Well, they performed over expectations, I should say. 9-6 and six is pretty solid. Uh, Bengals always look good on paper, but I feel like the Bengals just not quite clicking. Coaching? Probably. At that at that point it's gotta be coaching, right? Not personnel. Six and nine for the Bengals. I guess uh, Browns 0 and fifteen. I guess everyone thought the Browns did everyone assume Browns would be 0 and fifteen? I didn't think so. I thought they would win at least a few games, but they've got a lot of work to do. But they've got a lot of good individual pieces. You know? I like David and Yoku. They got Corey Coleman there. They've got Josh Gordon there. Right? They've got a decent running attack. You know, they got some good individuals on the defense. On the defensive side. I just I think they just need I just think they just need to kind of put it put it all together. No, we would love that, Rob Shell. Alright. We'll discuss the rest of the divisions in the next box when I'm opening packs. TJ Logan is your Cardinals auto. Out of 25, championship ticket auto, TJ Logan for Jaden. Nice one, Jaden. And there is, out of 249, Tyreek Hill, the speedy Tyreek Hill. That's one for the Chiefs, Jameson with the Chiefs. And looks like a Steeler coming up. And it's a nice Steeler. It's a cracked ice of Juju Smith-Schuster. Nine out of 25, on-card auto. Woo! Woo! Former USC product. Cracked ice, he has started to come into his own. I mean, without Antonio Brown, does this guy star in the playoffs? Might make those cards skyrocket. 
Nice cracked ice for Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. And boom, there it is. DeMonte Kazee. Rob Shell with the Atlanta Falcons. There you go, Rob. We got you. First of many, I hope. Rob, first of many. Let's, let's learn about this guy. On the second day of training camp, because he showed why he earned a reputation as an interception machine in college. After a pass was tipped and batted, the rookie reached back as his momentum pulled him the other way and snagged a left-handed interception for his first pick as a member of the Falcons. There you go. First of many, I hope, Rob. I hope the floodgates open on hits. I hope the floodgates of hits opens up for you so much that everyone goes, hmm, I think Rob's had enough now. <laughs> All right, there you go. Thanks for sticking with us, man. Got you. There's Trey Edmonds playoff ticket autograph for the Saints. 98 out of 99. Nice one for Michael Tran and the Saints. Rob Castillo, we have pulled one of ones in contenders. We uh, pr They were printing plates. But we've not pulled a, uh, I think, Super Bowl ticket or something like that, whatever they're called, the one of ones. There's Tredavious White. There you go. I'm getting uh, Peter Eng on the board with some bills. He was looking for some bills, maybe a sign of bigger hits to come. Peter, thanks for getting in and thanks for your support over the years. I thank everybody for supporting Jaspie's Hobbyland, folks. Appreciate everybody supporting a small breaking operation in Southern California. Out of 199 MVP contenders, Russell Wilson, Dangerous, going to Cruz. Hey, no worries, Steel Curtain. I appreciate you buying in. You can't win if you don't play, so I'm glad you're playing. I'm glad there, I especially like it when it when it goes to. I mean, I understand that the whole there's the whole buying and reselling aspect of this of this hobby nowadays, even more so than before. Um, but I especially like it even more, you know, when when like big hits go to people who who PC uh, that particular player or that particular team. You know, Steel Curtain obviously is a Steelers guy, you know, so I know those uh, I know those autographs and stuff are going to be going to a good home and will be treasured. Especially a young up and comer like Juju Smith Schuster. All right. Um, yeah, there are vet autos in this, Sean. So hopefully we'll be able to find um, some a vet auto or two in this. Oh, by the way, Boston Graphs. I don't know if you noticed, but I took some money off of that Chronicles baseball, so it's on sale for tonight only. And um, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm also gonna give you that same deal for the two spots you ordered today. Just FYI. We're trying to get that moving tonight. Because we'll have about a little under an hour left in the broadcast after this break is done. We've got another contenders coming up after this, so. We're busy. We are busy. Drop some links in the chat for you guys for uh, potential breaks that we can do. And here is the schedule in the chat as well for those of you keeping an eye on the uh, on the schedule. Oh, um, AFC South Jaguars ten and five definitely over expectations for me. Uh, Tennessee ties at eight and seven, a little slightly under. Texans. Hard to judge the Texans because Deshaun Watson definitely they were they were gonna be over expectations, but that Deshaun Watson injury really derailed their season. Now we don't know what they could have become. But good sign for their future though. Um Texans Colts, three and twelve. I mean, without Andrew Luck healthy, 
you know you don't really know what to what you're really going to get with the cold so definitely about expectations without andrew luck um no i i dropped them myself i multitask rock shell you should you should you should see me break live and you can see the the, the magic that happens out of 249 168 out of 249 but it seems seamless, right? It seems like someone else is doing it. It's all, all part of putting on a professional show, Rob. Uh, Joe Cavanaugh. Yeah, you know, Adam Kupperman mentioned the same thing too. Reports that the Raiders are making a big run at John Gruden. This is the first I'm hearing of it. I like it though. Wow, Corey Davis. Nice. Ah, believe it or not, Rob, we have multiple computers here at the store. Corey Davis, Tennessee Titans. Nice one for Nick T. There you go, Nick. Thanks for your support over the years, Nick T. But John Gruden, going back to Gruden really quick, um, I like it. Well, first of all, let me, let me say that I like Jack Del Rio, and I think that that um, that his d defensive and offensive coordinators have have definitely hurt him uh, and the Raiders this season and just things were just off this season. Um, but I don't like the idea of changing head coaches all the time. I, th I think so much changes when you change a head coach. And um, but if there is one coach that I would change for, it'd be John Gruden. So if they can get him, I'd go with it. Malachi Debris, Bills edition. That's another autograph for Peter. Nice. Yes, Ezekiel Elliott is in contenders. We just we pulled a five out of five Ezekiel Elliott autograph in the last case. Um, there, every case of contenders usually has a couple, uh, one or two vet autographs. I don't think we've seen ours yet, um, but there's always one or two vet autographs in this set. There's Jared Davis for the Lions. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. But yeah, I mean, I don't know if John Gruden wants to leave the booth, though. I think he's the high, or if not the highest, one of the highest paid broadcasters, sports broadcasters. There's Corey Davis, Rookie of the Year contenders, out of 199. Um, and... It's Corey Davis. You know? So does he want to go back to the stress of head coaching, you know? The, the 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 grind week in and week out. I don't know what his family situation is, if he has kids or how young they are or whatever. But I, I just don't know if he wants to be interested in doing that. Solomon Thomas for the Niners. So we'll see. But if if hey if the if the Raiders can lure John Gruden out, he'd be the one guy I would fully support. For a coaching change. Otherwise, just get better offensive coordinator. <laughs> get a better defensive coordinator. Elijah Qualls for the Eagles. I think that was one of the bigger issues. I don't. Do you think Cooper and Mari Cooper wants out? I never got that impression. I got the impression that he's just having a bad year. <laughs> Starting with the dropsies, and then it just it just didn't quite pan out this season very well. I think just the entire offense has just hiccuped a little bit. But yeah, our Mike, I agree. If, 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 if my Raiders can get Amari Cooper back on track, that helps everybody. That helps Jared Cook. That helps uh, Michael Crabtree. That helps the entire offense. That helps Derek Carr. You know, that helps like Seth Roberts. Guys like, you know, Third receivers, you know, that helps them. And uh, helps the running game, helps everything. You know, I, Amari Cooper is great at, if, if you know your football, he's great at running route trees. He's great at running routes. He's really good at running different routes. You know, he's just got to work on the hands. That's it. My guess is that he is 
because he's kind of he's a playmaker type. I think he's taking his eyes off the ball just a half a second too early, looking for the looking for the yards after catch. You know what I mean? I think that's the issue with Amari Cooper. So, Rob, shall you think Amari Cooper's been bumming out? What makes you think that? I think he's bummed that he's signed a good season. Not that he wants to leave the Raiders. I don't know, but I don't like follow him on like Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. So I don't know. Maybe maybe there's some signs there. I think he's just having a rough season. I mean, he, what was Hans? I mean, I don't I don't remember. I, I one one of my there's there's two sports weak spots that I have. Uh, it would be NHL and it would be college sports. So uh, Cooper Amari Cooper went to Alabama, I think. Was that it for you? For so, if there are any Alabama fans here, um, was that an issue for Amari Cooper then? But I think, yeah, I think I agree, Jackie. I, th I think Cooper. I think Amari Cooper will be okay. Um, he runs such crisp routes. He he does really great. Um, and if, if, if hands is really the only thing he has to work on, that's not bad. He's got a good football IQ, seems like a nice guy. So, I mean, like, he's got everything else. So that's really the, the biggest issue. I'm okay with that. Ryan Ruff asking, uh, what position do you think the Raiders need to draft next year? Um, probably, probably defense. I think the Raiders' secondary has always been a bit of an issue. Right, nice Quincy Wilson for the Colts. That'll be for Chris. Um, Raiders obviously have a lot of great individual players, but defense seems to be an issue, has been an issue for them. Plate, Jordan Howard, and on-plate autograph for the Bears. That's Rogelio. Nice. I guess that's, I guess he's a second year player. That's one of his, a vet-ish auto, I suppose. Jordan Howard on plate autograph. Rogelio all aboard with the Bears. All aboard the Big Head Express. Woo -woo! That is strong. Love that. Like that. You like that? That's definitely Kirk Cousins right there. Geronimo, rookie ticket autograph for the Packers. That'll go to Colin. There you go, Colin. All right. Legendary Brett Favre, 122 out of 199. Legendary contenders. That's another. That's another insert for Colin. Jamato. And a new Ravens autograph. We haven't seen. Oh no! I thought it was an autograph. Totally, totally trolled by Panini. Just a playoff ticket insert card for uh, Jaden. One fifty out of one. Uh, Two forty nine. Buck Allen. Damn. Damn. Totally fooled there. And got me. Kenny G. On card autograph for the Lions. Adam Kupperman. AK, thanks for your support over the years. A little Kenny G, a sexy hit for you. And one more, a Tyreek Hill autograph. Sophomore contenders, 23 out of 25 sophomore contenders, Tyreek Hill. That goes to, who has KC in this one? Jameson. 
Jameson. One of my favorite drinks with the Tyreek Hill. Congrats, man. Thanks for your support, too. All right, nice. All right, look, we're almost there. Four boxes to go. And then guess what? Another contender is coming up after this. But yeah, to go back to the Raiders really quick, um, and then we'll go through some more teams again. Uh, yeah, I just I think the Raiders need to draft some defense kind of early on. They need to continue shoring up their secondary, uh, some of their linebackers, maybe someone to put on the other side of, of Khalil Mack, um, or maybe replace Justin Ellis if he leaves. So there, there are some issues. Raiders obviously have some strong individual players. Health is kind of an issue too, I think. Uh, you know, I think Gary Ann Conley and Carl Joseph they're both healthy at the same time that could really do wonders Kansas City Chiefs are nine and six at the moment I think they I think they actually under uh, uh, underperformed just a little bit I thought they were gonna win a couple more games in this but they had a weird middle of the season slump but I guess they're they're back on track Chargers I have to admit are over performing from what I expected they're performing over expectations at eight and seven, they can sneak into a playoff spot. My Raiders definitely under expectations. Although I expected a season like this for the Raiders last year, and last year's Raiders season this year. <laughs> that's that's what I that's what I thought would happen. But I think the Raiders will bounce back. I feel like it's a step one step back, two steps forward, hopefully, kind of thing that'll happen. Uh, Denver Broncos five and ten definitely under expectations. I really thought that the Chiefs, Raiders, and Broncos would be the one shooting it out for the division. I thought it'd be really close by the end of the division. Just didn't happen that way. Broncos, the quarterback situation just terrible, and then I think I think that just put a lot of strain on the defense. Defense had to stay out on the field just for longer periods of time, and that just kind of hurt them a little bit, which makes sense. You know, if, if you're if you know your offense can't stay on the field, you know, you're not going. It's not going to take as many chances as you would as you normally would. So the defense becomes a little neutered at that point. All right, we'll go through the NFC divisions after this uh, after this box. All right, good luck, everybody. And we'll we'll play the over under expectations game with the NFC when we're opening up these other boxes. All right, Brad Kaya, Panthers edition. Rookie ticket auto for the Carolina Panthers. Rogelio Roy with that one. Our first autograph, or second autograph out of the box, is a playoff ticket autograph. 32 out of 99. Austin Eckler for the Los Angeles Chargers. Cruz with that one. I haven't seen any serial numbered round numbered cards yet. There is a, there is a few in each case. I haven't seen any in this case so far. Robert Woods, playoff ticket insert out of 249. Derek Slavic. Hi, Jeff. Uh, Jaspyshobbyland.com. How about some R. Joshua Dobbs for Michael Gallucci and the Steelers? Does he have a future with the Steelers, Michael? Steel Curtain? Maybe? In a post-Big Ben world? Our next autograph is Stacy Coley for the Vikings. That'll be for 
Uh, Rudko with the Vikings. You don't think anti Rams ever gonna break early? We did two last night. Did two last night. Uh, more points, which we'll randomize as one lot together, winner take all, and that that replaces an autograph. All right, next box. You're welcome, Jackie. Seal Curtin saying his chance at future in Pittsburgh are slim to say the best. Why? I don't really know much about the guy. All right. Next box. Roy saying Raiders should inquire about Sean Payton or Josh McDaniels, not Gruden. I don't know if Raiders fans want a former Broncos coach like Josh McDaniels to be coaching their team. I'm not, I think Josh McDaniels has tried the whole head coaching thing before. I don't know, maybe, maybe he could. Is Sean Payton really going to leave the Saints, though? I, 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 think the, I think the Raiders want, like, more of a veteran coach type person. You know, like, I don't know if they want to try their, their shot at, like, you know, getting another, you know, hot young potential, hot young coordinator to, you know, fill the head coaching shoes, especially with a crucial move to Las Vegas. I think they need someone with a little more weight and experience to, to shepherd their path to Las Vegas. Sean Payton would be good. I mean, if if the Raiders can can if Sean Payton leaves uh, leaves New Orleans, Nolens, that'd be pretty good. If they can pry Gruden away, I think that kind of coach would be pretty good. <laughs> That's a good point, Steel Curtain, about our Joshua Dobbs. Our Joshua underperformed the preseason, and he's like, if you can't beat out Landry Jones for the back row role. All caps, you have big problems. That's true. Yeah, I don't think Sean Payton's going anywhere anytime soon, right, Ryan Ruff? Oh, Warriors meet the grit. Oh, okay. I'll accept Curtis back. Rob Shell saying Ben's a machine will play to his 60s. Is he using uh, TV12? Is he on the TV12 diet? Is he using that snake oil to... Play into his 60s the way Tom Brady is. All right. Third to last box, ladies and gentlemen. Third to last box. NFC East Eagles over expectations. 13 and 2. What a great season for them. But let's see how they continue without Carson Wentz. Cowboys 8 and 7 underperforming, performing under expectations. Redskins are probably probably where people thought they would be. Uh, and the Giants definitely underperforming. I don't think the Giants would have gotten a playoff spot, but 2-13, and 13, I don't know if people expected 2-13 and 13 out of the New York football Giants. Then again, oh, Dalvin Cook. Then again, there are a lot of injuries for the New York football Giants. All right. Dalvin Cook with a big autograph, too. It's almost spelling out his entire name. That's a treat. Vikings, Rudko, Dalvin Cook. He'll be back. I have a feeling he'll bounce back. It's my, 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 it's my prediction, my bold prediction. There's Jabril Peppers out of 199. Roy saying if Drew Brees retires, then Peyton would want out. I see. But yeah, I, I agree with Boston Grass. I think I agree with Sean. I think uh, I think Drew, Drew Brees probably does have another couple years or so. I mean, the way the the way the Saints have constructed their team now, 203 out of 249, Eddie Lacy. What a bum out for him. But um, with a more of a running attack from the Saints and the Saints defense now, I think that that has preserved Drew Brees for another few years. I think, I have a feeling that the Saints will keep Drew Brees for a while. Carlos Watkins, rookie ticket autograph for the Texans. That'll go to Landon. 
I think Drew Brees will 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 stay with the Saints until he has like a Peyton Manning noodle arm. That's what I think. I think until he has a uh, Peyton Manning noodle arm, the Saints will keep him. Drew Brees, there's Nancy. Yeah, she's a big Saints fan. Um, Drew Brees is like a legend in in Nolens. Kyle Slaughter. I don't think I've ever heard of Kyle Slaughter. Rookie ticket autograph for the Vikings. He got moved to the Vikings. That'll go to Rudko. And Nazir Jones is your Seahawks autograph for Cruz. Or Mike, is Bruce Arians going to the Bears? Is John Fox done? There's a Colt. Anthony Walker, Texas Ranger. Walker Jr. That'll go to Mace, Chris Masoner, and the uh, and the Colts. Yes, it will, Ehrlich, tonight. So buy your spots in NT Collegiate Football. It's a good time to do Collegiate Football, too, with all the bowl games. We did two last night. I'm sure could do one tonight. Our mics is Fire Fox. Fox is out, according to Bleacher Reports, says Jaden. Well, on the way out. I'm glad you sourced your sourced your comments there, Jaden. I like that. As a former journalist, I like, uh, I like when people source their... Their speculations. Well, John Mayer asking, "What do I think about Trubisky?" I like Trubisky. I think they probably they probably um, had him play earlier than they wanted him to. You know, maybe he got started got inserted into the into games much earlier than they wanted him to be inserted. But from what I from what I hear, I think that um, I think like the locker room is responding to him. I think I heard it on like a TV broadcast. I think the locker room is responding to him, players are responding to him, you know, he seems to be a good dude, yeah, you know, really, really connects with all, all his teammates and stuff, works hard, has a, you know, classic high football IQ kind of thing, and, you know, the, the, the intangible of, of, of he's a winner kind of thing, you know, plays hard. So, you know, if he has the right coaches around him, maybe gets a, maybe gets a receiver or two, and maybe not, not a Kevin White who gets injured all the time, you know, they already got Jordan Howard, you know that that's that's pretty good. So if they kind of keep building around that, I think I think Trubisky can definitely come good, or at least be a more than serviceable quarterback. Especially if the Bears say, you know, go a traditional defense route, build that defense, and just have Trubisky, you know, manage that offense along with Jordan Howard. It can get good really fast. Also, it's in single digits early. It doesn't sound like a lot. We can make that happen. I remember at um, we went to the uh, the NFLPA rookie premiere, which is in Los Angeles every year, just a few weeks after the draft, or a couple weeks after the draft. That's where Panini. Brings them out to the LA Coliseum and has has everybody, all the rookies take, you know, take pictures for all the products for the rest of the year, kind of thing for most of the year anyway. Um, they take pictures for all of that, have them in different poses, have meet everybody, do all these meetings in LA, blah 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 blah. Panini um, and our distributor GTS invites us to this uh, panel that they do. We've been there for the last few years, and Trubisky was there, among others. I think Leonard Fournette was there, Trubisky was there, Patrick Mahomes was there, John Ross was there. Uh, I think Davis Webb was there. A couple other guys were there too. Um, what was funny is that Leonard Fournette is a really funny dude, a really big personality. Seems like a really nice guy. Uh, he I, he was teasing he was teasing Mitch Trubisky at this panel where he was just like, and then he was he was like, and then you screwed it all up, Mitch, which I thought was really funny. And I think Mitch Trubisky was like, yeah, I didn't think I was going to go that high either. I, I had no idea that they were going to trade for me 
trade up that high for me. And so I think he was kind of blown away. And, and Leonard Fournette was was kind of laughing how like he screwed up the entire draft because I'm sure that knocks that knocks Leonard Fournette's draft position back some spots. You know, draft everyone gets all screwy when it comes to all that. So, but good for Mitch Trubisky. He seemed like a good guy. All right, last two boxes coming up. Uh, NFC North. Yeah, it takes money away. NFC North, Red uh, Vikings. Sorry, I was reading what TJ was saying. TJ needs some Smodge P Rhymes. Uh, Minnesota Vikings, over expectations. Way over. 12 and 3. That's pretty incredible. They might march their way into a home field Super Bowl. When's the last time that happened? Uh, Detroit Lions, 8 and 7. I think a little bit over. We're about, just about what I expected. Packers, definitely under. Aaron Rodgers being hurt. Has a has a lot to do with that. Bears a little bit over expectations. Five and ten. That's not too shabby. At least my expectations, anyway. Um, Saints eleven and four. I I guess I didn't really think the Saints were going to be that strong, at least early in the season. But they continue to win, so they're doing really well. Panthers playing strong, eleven and four. I think everyone left them for dead last season, right? But now, look, they're 11 and 4. Not too many teams there. Uh, Falcons, well, Falcons definitely a little under expectation. My personal expectations at 9 and 6 at this point in the season. However, you know, they've got the Saints and the Panthers in their division, and that's that's pretty tough. Uh, Buccaneers 4 and 11 definitely underperforming. Performing under my expectations. And to round out the NFC West, uh, Rams definitely over. I think that's what everyone said, over. Seahawks, uh, probably about where they would be, 9-6. and six. I thought the Seahawks could probably win the division with, you know, 9 or 10 games. But then the Rams kind of came out of nowhere. Cardinals 7-8, and eight, under expectations, but losing David Johnson would do that. Um, Niners, un I mean, Niners about where you think the Niners would be, about 5 wins. 5-10 uh, and 10 before the last week of the season. But Jimmy Garoppolo... It has them trending upwards for sure. So there you have it, folks. That's that's some football thoughts there. All right. Ben Boulware, 9 out of 99. Playoff ticket autograph going to the Panthers. That'll be for Rogelio. That's Roy in the chat. Yeah, Boston Graphs and is asking about the... Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, I think, yeah, I think he's going to be pretty great. Another Dalvin Cook? Wow, rookie ticket auto, Dalvin Cook. See, that's how Dalvin Cook using the entire canvas right there. Is he? Uh, Clemson, I think. That's what it says on the back. But nice Dalvin Cook. Uh, that goes to Rudko, right there. Super in the room. The NFL shop things, Ehrlich, they, they go into the trash can. Out of 249 playoff ticket, Jacksonville Jaguars. That goes to Shogun. Yeah, imagine if, imagine if Dalvin Cook was playing R. Mike. R. Mike was like, hey, the Vikes would be better with that guy playing. So Vikings are already, you know, winning a zillion games. They've got, they're 12 and 3. Imagine if, uh, <laughs> imagine if he was playing. I mean, guaranteed Super Bowl win, right? We got MVP contenders, Russell Wilson. Base cards, we, uh, we donate. The veteran base cards. We donate to Boys and Girls Club of America, or they get given to some of the kids that come into the shop. That is for Cruz and the Seahawks. We've got um, Akello Witherspoon. No, not not sure if there's any. Not sure if there's any uh, relation to Reese. Wait, Rory, when did you have the Vikings? Which break? You can get one from, from 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 Jackie, I guess. 
I don't think I've seen any serial numbered round numbers cards, which is odd. I'm fine with that. So I don't have to do like a zillion randomizers. We've got Price. Juan Price. Oh, you have the Vikings in the next one? No, we'll just we'll just pull more. We'll, we'll find you a cracked ice in the next one, Rory. That's for the Rams. That'll go to Derek. Oh, I thought we was in, in a break. We already did. Just guess we'll just have to pull you a cracked ice in the next one. Tredavious White. So we got a few autos for Peter and the Bills. Rookie ticket autograph. Tredavious White. Drop that Amari Cooper like Amari Cooper drops footballs. That was completely unintentional. All right. Our last box coming up. I'm pulling some nice hits out of here. There's the last box right there. Good luck, folks. We've got Danelle Pumphrey for the Fly Eagles Fly. That'll be for Rudko. Super Polar having a great break. What is happening in this, this Miami-Wisconsin game? There's Victor Bolden Jr. Are we going to get through a break without Matt Breida? Niners going to James S. I better not have jinxed it. Uh, there's a randomizer right there. It's 57 out of 99 between the Broncos and the Niners. Jonathan Allen, rookie ticket autograph for TJ and the Redskins. Thanks for your support over the years, TJ. Another good 2017 in the book. Not exactly the Pirine. TJ's an Oklahoma guy, so he wanted the Pirine. But hey, autograph, Jonathan Allen. There you go. All right, we've got... Rookie ticket, Michael Roberts for the Lions. That'll be Adam Copperman. One better, better than one better than none. That's what I like to say. All right, Dak Prescott out of 249. 225 out of 249. That'll be playoff ticket. Jeremy McNichols. Buccaneers. That goes to Michael D. Hey, no problem, Rob Shell. Have not Roy have not seen any Jake Butt autographs. Not yet anyway. And another Buccaneer. Rookie ticket auto, Kendall Beckwith for Michael D. and the Bucks. Is that it? I think that might be it. And that, my friends, is that. So, we did it. Pick your team three in the books. Thank you very much, everybody. Some randomizers coming up. We'll do a quick recap at the end, too. All right, 
So let's go to random.org. Let's get some dice. I need one, two, three for the list. We'll go left, right on those round number cards. Next one was Broncos, Jake Bud. This is the one I was that's numbered out of 99. Broncos and Niners. And then everyone has a shot at the points. Winner take all on the points. Good luck, everybody. Oh, no, the DAC. I would have made a bigger deal if that DAC was an autograph. No, it was just an insert, I'm afraid. Five and two, seven times. Lucky seven for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Left side will get them. So all the teams on the left right here will get these round number cards. This one is serial number, 57 out of 99, Broncos and Niners. Once again, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Niners will get it. James Scheisler with the Niners. It's 57 out of 99, Jake Butt, he's a tight end, and George Kittle. And one person will get all of the points after seven times. Name on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. That goes to Cruz. There you go, Cruz. Uh, two 250 points cards coming your way. Thanks very much, everybody. This is Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Another contender is coming up next. Bye-bye.